Hello, I'm Gordon Ritchie, and today we are looking at the Interrupt PLS. The programmable limit switch can be used to trigger an interrupt. The PLS has eight set points that can be triggered at different positions and either output based on distance or time. For the interrupt, it really doesn't matter because it will occur as soon as the PLS transitions to a true state. The PLS set points can be enabled in the programmable limit switch screen by checking each box or it can be written into the program code. The code PLS.EN equals 255 can be used to turn on all eight points or using a binary equivalent to select the outputs, for example, PLS.EN equals 3 to turn on PLS set points 1 and 2. I have written a simple program that will basically trigger the interrupt for all eight set points. PLS set point 1 will trigger after one revolution, PLS set point 2 after two revolutions, 3 after 3, and so on and so forth. Since each set point is its own interrupt, a different event can occur for each one. To keep it simple, I have created a routine to flash the output once for PLS set point 1, twice for PLS set point 2, and so on for all eight points. The interrupt PLS is useful for those events that happen multiple times at different points in the machine cycle. Each interrupt can be a totally different event depending on the application need. I'm Gordon Ritchie. I'll see you in the next video.